Der junge Mann heißt Pablo Royas, kommt von der Charité hier in Berlin, medizinische Mikrobiologie und das Thema ist Progressive Synergism between Microbiology and Photography, an Aesthetic Approach. Pablo Royas! So in English again, right? How many times have we said, oh, it's in English again. So we read this paper and we said, yeah, yeah. we read the paper actually, but did you understand where it said, no, no, it was in English. I translated it several times and then we say, well, actually the paper was in English. I have done it to Spanish. I translated the complete paper to Spanish and I said, it doesn't make any sense, <laughs> any sense. I even translated it to German. It actually made a little bit more sense but I, trust me, I've tried. Anyway, every time we're gonna write something, our supervisor says, maybe we try a bit of a catchy title. So is that the catchy title? I've seen it used in an English journal, in an American journal, actually the Americans are doing it, actually the British do it. Anyway, it's always, always very complicated. So I came across this. This is after I did my bachelor in science in biotechnology, I did a minor degree in microbiology and another one in photography, and then decided to, be a, to do a master's in Molecular epidemiology, and this is what I came up with. A tick and a camera. So then I said, let's go word by word to understand what is this? So I decided, okay, let's go, synergism. Synergism, we get two things, right? They don't work, they kind of work together, we will make them work together, but if they are not together, it doesn't work, it's useless. So we get two things, we put them together, and then what do we get? So we get the click, the wonderful, world of photography, beautiful images, and all this stuff, and then we get ew, bacteria. <laughs> then we take click, we try again. And then we tried something about diagnostics, and we say, eh, diarrhea. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So how did we come up to mix these two things in the modern world? This is how it works. We work with diagnostics, so we said, yes, okay, the, the kid has been diagnosed with this severe chronic blah, 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 elitis, whatever. <laughs> then we go to, all right, then we mix click plus whatever we get, and we say, oh yes, now this new research is being done on this bacteria that is actually very interesting, has never been found, and then we get research, we publish papers, and then I am able to graduate. <laughs> and then I said, what if I actually mix the click plus the idiot and then we get, and we try to get some art. Let's see how it went. So if we look at the human history, we've been trying to document everything. Since the man was drawing uh, horses on caves, then we look at the Egyptian drawing hieroglyphics in the pyramids, and then we came to the Middle Ages, the beasts, the religion, and then we start to document stuff. Then we even got Humboldt in Ecuador, uh, taking pictures, uh, doing drawings of birds and stuff. Then. We got uh, stronger cameras and stuff like that, and we came across microorganisms and bacteria, basically. Along those lines, I decided to start documenting my colleagues, my colleagues' work, my colleagues' samples during my master's, during my bachelor's, and then they used to call me and said, Pablo, you know, I got this beautiful sample. Can you take a picture? I said, yes, 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 no problem, let's see. Then another one, like, I actually got this beautiful animal. I got a cow, I am really attached to this cow. I really, really like it. it's gonna be, this cow, this is my paper. This cow will be my paper I'm gonna publish. I'm really attached to this cow. Can you please come and take a picture of the cow? I went and I took a picture of the cow and she was definitely attached to the cow. <laughs> so I kept on documenting my colleagues and I came across, uh, this was my master's in science. So I started thinking about, uh, maybe we kind of see the, the cycle, how does it work? And I came across the spirochids. The spirochids are these lovely bacteria that go, uh, that transmit through the urine and they get into the humans or other animals. I look at them the first time in the scanning microscope and said, they're kind of cute. <laughs> then I decided, then they told me, oh, Pablo, you actually have to go and collect 600 samples of urine from dogs. All right. So there we have Princess. Princess actually was my paper in the European Journal of Clinical Microbiology. And then we have Lewis. Lewis was a bit harder. So I told him, give me food. He was telling me, give me food, I give you pee. <laughs> Perfect. We went to the molecular diagnostics and it all worked perfectly. Then 
what do we need to do? Of course, we have to culture the bacteria, then we will be able to produce some papers, we will be able to get more funding, and you know how it goes, no? So we were actually able to culture the bacteria, and then remember the cute spirochist? We isolated it over there, you see them swimming, they're very happy, and then I said, all right, maybe this picture is good for something, and then we all went drinking. <laughs> then I came across the, what is called, the, the Grosse Leve Egel, right? If I pronounce it correctly. So then my, my friends were telling me, you have to take a picture of this. It is beautiful. Then I look at the thing in the microscope. I say, it's, it's, this is disgusting. But it's that, is that, is that, is actually catchy. If you look at the guy, you say, this guy can be part of the Simpsons. This is it's actually, it's a bit catchy. So I was thinking, it's interesting. Okay, let's, let's keep researching about that. So I thought, okay, I'm going to read about the cycle. So I went, I understood, okay, lives in the sheep, lives in the cows, lives in the snail. Okay, let's go and take a look at the horse cycle. So I went to the cycle. This was in Ireland. So I went to see, of course, sheep. The whole island is full of sheep. And then, of course, the, the snails. Then I saw that, and basically, when I was there, I, w I didn't have a Schengen visa, and I didn't have a British visa. And as you know, Ireland, the half north of the island, belongs to the Queen. I was not able to travel anywhere there for two years, so then I realized I had been too long in that island when I saw this. <laughs> I've been too long. All right, then we keep, walk, we keep working in the veterinary hospital and then someone else came along and they said, you know, I have this, uh, th th this bug, it likes to eat salmon. I was like, all right, what does it do? I said, okay, it gets into the salmon and then starts eating the salmon from the inside to the outside. As soon as I saw the picture, I was like, those fuckers are kind of smiley, aren't they? <laughs> they look very happy, okay, let's go and take a look at them closer. So I went there and we took picture of this. We got it published in the Irish Times and we got the first prize for the images of research in some competition. And then I said, there's actually something deeper and it must be, must be more interesting from the inside. And then of course, look at this. These are the teeth and this is what they do. Mm. <laughs> All right, so along the lines of things that look like something else, I came across, you, you come across a lot, a, a lot of, Images that they say, okay, Pablo, one more time, they were like, you have to see this cryptococcus. This is the first time we found it in the eye of a horse. So I went to see the cryptococcus, I see no cryptococcus. I was like, I must be homesick. <laughs> right? I must be homesick. Along the same lines, uh, I came across the, the media, right? And then bacteria growing, so I was thinking, actually, this landscape looks beautiful. So I was thinking, yeah. So Salmonella, E. coli, and all of them, this is what bacteria look like when they get together and start growing. I start to get a little bit more witty and a little bit more intelligent, and at the end, you always end up getting political and then ecological. Oh, look at the landscapes of those petri dishes. They will end up like this. If we don't take care of our planet, we will end up like this. Basically, no, no, it's not funny. It's true. <laughs> we, we will end up like that. <laughs> So, uh, along with the dogs, I ended up looking. I ended up finding this. This 2008 here in Berlin. I came to the. I came to do some uh, practices here, and I found this spirochete in the kidney of an animal, in the kidney of a dog, and it looked like it actually looked like the Enterprise. Looked like the Enterprise traveling along, and then I said, "It's just like the Russians." Remember when the Russians decided to put a dog and send it to the space? It's exactly the same. That's, that's where the name comes from: interstellar spirochete. I thought it was funny, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, along those lines, I was definitely a tourist as well. And then I was thinking, so, so I went to France, because you know, you always hear about France, you have to go to France. So I went there and they said, they start talking about the D-Day, you have to see this, this is where the Allies, where the Allies landed, the Americans, and all this stuff, you know? And then I was looking at the map and I said, I've seen this before. <laughs> they get together, they talk to each other, there we go, so I thought, maybe we get something out of this. So I kept working and I said, it's just like the white blood cells, dendritic cells and macrophages, they get together and they go, they attack, just like this. That's exactly what I thought, and I said. So I kept telling people, do you think this makes sense? No, Pablo makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> Along those lines, I came across, I, I told my friends, my cousins, Pablo, you know, we should do something. I told them, hey, let's get together and do something. And so I came across, this Sonosis group. So we decided to fund the Sonosis group, which was our first exhibition. So Sonosis is basically any disease that can be transmitted from animals to humans or 
nowadays vice versa, right? And then basically we were doing a, a couple of exhibitions, funny things, and we even got funded. The idea of us was actually to make pictures from zoonosis, epidemia, pathology, quarantine, and all these very terrific and very catchy words that we see in the news, make them available to the public in a visual way, because that will help the public not only understand, but actually have a laugh as well. <laughs> we ended up doing logos for the people who, who, who work with us. We were in Ireland, the Celtic Tiger was there, everybody thought they were going to be rich, all right, we get all this money from the European Union, we're all going to make our own enterprises, nothing happened. The best thing they got was the logo, and that was it. We did an exhibition about zoonosis, so we get the two things there, dancing, kissing with the shadow of the, with the, shadow of the humans there. We also made a video, please look at the video. Another exhibition that we did was here. It was in the Langenada Wissenschaften. My supervisor, she works with Biofilm, and she said, well, let's, uh, let's do something about it. So we put Biofilm, we put people, we project on their faces, and that's how it worked. We also did a 3D anaglyph exhibition of them. This we will be doing in the European Open Science Open Forum. I don't know if this is art. You should decide it. And let's see how, how it goes. These are the people I'm going to thank for giving me the money. That's the people for giving me the space. And that's it. Thank you. Pablo Royas. Thanks, <laughs>